What's up guys, Ivan here with GetIvan.com and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys a discovery I made on UTF-8 encoding glitches in HTML files. So recently I was sort of resurrecting an old project and deciding that I wanted to kind of add to it a bit and you know beef it up and uh, this particular project uh, is deployed through HTML and object storage which is a method I've covered a bit in the past. And um, so I had to open up some old files. And when I opened up some my old files and started to make changes and do my first re redeployment uh, deployments of those files in the object storage, um, I immediately started getting encoding glitches. And these files render in UTF-8, uh, um text encoding or whatever but it was also rendering these uh these these glitches even though that's the supposedly the most stable text encoding format or whatever however that's expressed and so i've been talking with someone trying to get help for this spent hours probably several hours in the last in the last couple of days trying to fix this problem the biggest, the biggest problem was that apostrophes were not rendering correctly. And of course, there's like a lot of apostrophes across content. So that was really the biggest problem. Then I had a couple places or a few places where, with quotes that were rendering improperly. And then here's like a trademark area. Here's uh, like a HTML special arrow symbol. And then the copyright symbol was kind of driving me crazy. It's not really a big deal at, necessarily, but... I don't know. You just never know if if you might have a page penalized or something for encoding glitches. So I was just determined to get this fixed because I also use this for templating. Um, I updated I updated the the process, and so I was planning to use this for uh, templating a new HTML projects. And so I didn't want to have all my projects just you know encoding glitches. Anyways, after a whole lot of trial and error and testing, I I tried to duplicate, make a different project or s strip down the file. Like here was what I was able to create in a stripped file, and it looked it it looked correct. And then the old project file, it just didn't look right, which is just really bizarre. And so I figured out after a lot of grief. Where's my notepad? It was a really simple problem. And even the guy that I was talking with didn't seem to didn't, didn't didn't seem to catch it. I wasn't able to send him the original file, but circumstances were still explained pretty thoroughly. Um, and the problem was simply that in in a new format of rendering of exporting HTML, I had the option for placing certain header scripts uh, before the the head tag. And it used to be after the head tag, like right before the body. So right, right in this, this little squeeze space. Used to be there, apparently. And in optimizing my process, I put everything up here. And so the, the problem was that I was putting Yandex Metrica analytics script before the head and the head says character set UTF eight. <laughs> so really simple problem to fix. And I, and I looked this up and people talk about this problem. It's mostly in terms of code compilation. A lot of people have this problem. And I, I would guess that this is probably a solution for a lot of guys. Uh, you can't put script before the head like and it's weird because some things mention putting scripts there well maybe not all scripts but this would be a reason this could be a reason why that that's happening for a lot of guys because they're making they're 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 loading scripts before the the header in the header a lot of things mention you know loading scripts in the header but there's a big difference apparently and i didn't know this before the header and after the header, you know. Um, so 
yeah, that, that, that was the problem. Now I have like a DNS prefetch here before the header. And then I have uh, this, this analytics trip after the header. And if anyone's wondering, the reason that I run Yandex in this case is because Yandex is much faster than like Google Analytics. And then, so it's, it's much more lightweight, it's faster. It allows the, the static site to, to continue to load really quickly. And it also comes with like uh, site monitoring, like your site goes down for free. It's like totally free, yeah, unlimited ev everything, totally free, no limits to the number of sites that you can add into that account. And then it also has like a free heat mapping feature. So it's just, it's a really cool option for lightweight sites. I'm probably gonna use, uh, I have like another metrics thing that that makes automated uh, CRO types of suggestions. I might start using that in the not too distant future instead. But anyways, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, make sure you put your, uh, your scripts after the header, before the body, instead of before, and that'll, that could probably solve some encoding glitches you may have. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.